the gnarliest time for me after my first year Forte and and Fred joined the cast. I mean, two of the most unique comedy voices of the last 20 years. Because there were things that were happening at SNL before this is they 06? showed up. No, still we're talking 02. Okay. They show up. There's that thing of I'm looking around and I'm sort of watching what everybody's doing and I'm thinking, I can get there. You know? Not throwing any shade on anybody that was happening, but I felt like, again, it was all the versions of the sketch comedy I'd grown up for. A year before I was watching SNL, I got it. Now I'm on SNL, I'm seeing it up close. Jimmy and Tracy have moves. Will, like comedy, fun, yeah. fucking hilarious dudes, funny, uh, with moves. Will Ferrell, kind of outer space. You, outer, you, you don't can't get think, there. Right. You and can't nor do get you, there. Yeah. Never in my, I never thought, okay, that's next. Yeah. And then, and then step. Tina ABC. and Amy, hilarious moves, like fairly yeah. linear. Anybody who comes out of Chicago, you sort of feel like, you know, because again, that was, so I'd seen Tina and Amy, I'd seen their growth because I used yep. to see them on stage and I'm like, okay, so growth will happen for me too. But then Forte and Fred show up and both they from have, outer space both from outer space bag of tricks you've never seen before no overlap with what either of them has that just oh so now you know it spent that whole summer being like i'm gonna get a little bit better and i'm like oh now it's a daze then there's like you know and so then i kind of uh you know get through that and and they kind of find their space and i have mine but then now this other thing happened which is andy bill and pretty soon after, uh, Sudeikis. Sudeikis, who had been a writer. Who had been a writer. He joins the cast a little bit, if my timeline's right, a little bit after Bill and Andy are maybe at the same time. But are, they're, I think they maybe are all at the same time. So now there's like five guys. And I'm writing at the time as well. And I just sit down, and I don't feel like I am self-hating. I like the things I'm good at. But I would write sketches and I would have an idea for a premise and I would genuinely think if I want this to work and I have these six guys of which I'm counting myself um, and I want this sketch to work as a writer, my f sixth choice is Seth, you know, if I'm Sam and I'm gen like and I'm not like, no, Ugh. I don't. I mean, I don't I don't think anyone would disagree with. You. Yeah, I mean, I you would say if it's. If it's a fail-safe joke where someone has to say the word without stumbling, Seth can do it. But every right. one of them brings these other layers, which yeah. is what any sketch writer, any writer anywhere wants, which is, I think I wrote this great thing, but now I want to bring in a performer who is going to make it great in seven different granular ways that is going to somehow make that it That I can't predict and I can't, can't write predict. it. Yeah. And, and mean, also just like with some of them, it's just... Andy's charisma, Bill's charisma, yeah, uh, uh, Sadekis' fucking charisma, yes. out the yin yang. The other thing is, so now you're like, oh, not only do you feel like right away, oh, they're all better than me. The longer you're with them, you now want to write for them based on moves you've seen them do. Yeah, because the longer you're with Andy, the more you want to write for Andy. The longer you're with Keenan to bring up yeah. somebody you hadn't mentioned. Uh, yeah, I didn't mention. The more you want to write for Keenan. And and yet I'm with myself every day and I'm not giving myself a single new idea. <laughs> At no point am I like, well now, but here's something only Mr. Myers can bring to the party. So you feel like you're kind of getting washed away. And you don't even, you can't even really argue with it. You can't really argue with it. You can't stop the tide. Mm -hmm. The uh, solution at the time would be a some negative for the franchise, which is things would be going better for me if all of them were worse. You know what I mean? Like the right, only you don't, way, and, right? Because you like them all. I I like them all. I at like least when the like show's good. I mostly love them all. No, they're all family. All, yeah, I mean everybody we've talked about. You included. We're at oh. my wedding. These are people, you know what I mean? And and uh, and I'm glad they were. And they, I love them. They are, uh, I mean, not to get Vin Diesel on you, but they were like family, more than friends at some point because you just spend so much time together Yeah. at SNL. And then I hated myself for... Competing with them. And, or or and, whatever. Yeah, it's just, just like the, the jealousy. unfortunate... I yeah. hated. I hated that when they would crush it was impossible to remove that piece of me that was saying Ugh, 
well, there's another strike against me, even though yeah. it wasn't a strike against me, except, of course, it was, right? There is a calculus at the end of every season of SNL where the decision makers say, you know, what do we need? Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.